To draw the Lewis structure for NaH, that's sodium hydride, we first need to recognize that sodium, that's a metal, and hydrogen, that's a nonmetal. That means this is an ionic compound. And in an ionic compound, the metal will transfer electrons, valence electrons, to the nonmetal. So we draw Na and then H. So sodium, that's in group one on the periodic table. It has one valence electron. Hydrogen, that's also in group one, and it has one valence electron as well. NaH is a bit of a strange compound. Hydrogen is the one usually donating a valence electron, but here it's bonded to the metal, so it's actually going to accept the electron. It's going to gain the electron from the sodium. We said with ionic compounds, valence electrons are transferred. So the sodium transfers its valence electron to the hydrogen. When it does that, it lost an electron. Electrons are negative. So sodium now has a plus one charge. The hydrogen, it got that electron. So it now has a minus one charge. We should put brackets around the hydrogen to show that it's an ion. You'll often see brackets around the positive ion as well. We need to have the brackets here to show that these two electrons, they're not shared like in a covalent compound. The sodium has transferred its valence electron to the hydrogen. Also note that this is what we call a formula unit. NaH exists of a group of formula units all together in a repeating pattern called a crystal. But this is helpful for us to understand how the valence electrons are transferred from the sodium to the hydrogen. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for NaH, sodium hydride, and thanks for watching.